Howdy, hello, and happy birthday. We're back at it with another mystery box. This is a big one. This one was from GI, and they claimed that it was going to be the best mystery box. At least that's what it said in the email they sent out to everybody, and all of the other promotional stuff. And I figured what better way to test that theory than to pick one up and just open it and find out. Not to mention there's a guy named Derek who leaves a comment in like every video asking me to buy one of these mystery boxes. I think he's a plant. Not like a tree, I mean like a secret operative from GI. I know it's you, Cisco. So we picked this up. I'm pretty sure it was 180, free shipping. We're gonna tear into this right now. There was a whole list of really cool prizes. There was Zion Arms, there was Lancer Tactical, there was a whole bunch of other brands, and I'm excited to see what we pulled. But I gotta open the tape first, and what will I use to open it? Maybe this. Nope. How about this? That's much better. This is a hot dog. Yeah, that's right. It was a hot dog in my pocket. I wasn't just happy to see you. This is a 3D printed hot dog because I'm pretty sure a regular hot dog on a bun with mustard would be a big mystery box mess. This was 3D printed by CPM. Thanks for printing this. We're getting into this right now. Shout out to everyone in the Discord for recommending this, especially Preacher who recommended it for almost 150 days. That's a lot of days. This counts as a hot dog. You can stop recommending it. Or maybe next time I'll just use a frozen hot dog. This isn't cheating, I swear. <clears throat> Here we go. There are no sharp bits to this. I already wore the paint off. <sighs> This might be harder than a frozen hot dog. That's what she said. Oh, I got it. Okay. All right. There's just like a sharp corner that I'm using, but it's already wearing off all the paint. Corner time. Mustard. All right. We're in, and as a bonus, let me know down in the comments, what do you put on your hot dogs? Are you a mustard person, or do you like ketchup? That's a debate right there. Find someone in the comments and argue with them. Have fun. All right, the moment of truth. We're getting into this mystery box. Here we go. I see paper. Oh, the paper's just coming up with the box. This is pretty good. This is some good paper. This is great packing paper. We can use this in our live streams to write everyone's name on. I needed some new paper. Also, I will let you know that I did put a special request in the comments and I asked if we could get a picture of Nicolas Cage because it's been too long. If you've been here for a few years, you know that we like getting pictures of Nicolas Cage in our boxes. Nick pics is what we call them. Let's see if we got one or if they ignored our comments. <laughs> We got an impressive looking box. This might be expensive. I'm gonna pull it out of here. There's more paper. And there's a cardboard box. And we have got an LCT box. There was no packing slip or Nicolas Cage picture in our box. Don't know what's up with that, but maybe there's one inside this. Fingers crossed. Let's open it up. I don't even know what this is yet. LCT makes a lot of stuff. The moment of truth. We're gonna open it for the overhead cam first. Quick peek. It's just a cardboard. There is a catalog. Yep, got it all. I'm just kidding, I barely have any LCT. And let's move the cardboard. Ooh, ho, 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 no way. You're kidding. Looks like an RPK. The box has seen better days. It's a little damaged. Like with all LCTs, it's got the LCT dog tag that says RPK. Check that out. And that's metal. We have a full metal mid cap. That's a beefy boy, pretty heavy. And the Airsoft Pew itself. Nothing else hiding underneath of it. No packing slip, no nick pick. It's all right, we still gotta look at this. Okay, this is a pretty heavy duty Airsoft gun. It's got full wood on the front and the stock and the rest of it pretty much metal except the grip which is a type of plastic. I really like that. And if you look in there, there is a slide hop up they're not my favorite kind of AK hop-ups because as you use the airsoft gun, the hop-up tends to walk and unset itself. I would prefer a different type, but beggars and choosers. As you can see, full metal bipod, which does collapse and lock into place here. I'm gonna use it for standing purposes right now. And I'm pretty sure the battery should be in here. Oh, why was it so hard? It's not, it's in the stock. Yeah. The battery compartment is in this little flap. 
I thought it would be in the dust cover, it's not, and it's really tough to get to. Like, I can't even get the battery wire out. And if you take this off, everything falls apart. So the battery compartment is not readily accessible. Don't like that. Yeah, definitely not a fan. I would have preferred if the battery went up in here, in the top, that would have made way more sense. Instead, it goes in the stock. There is a lot of room inside it, but your options are try to fit a battery through that little hole or use a flathead to take these screws out and then the whole thing falls apart and then you gotta very carefully reposition everything. There's two metal plates and a spring-loaded door that'll come out and you gotta put them all back together. So that's a negative, that's a downside, don't like that. Anyway, it is wired rear to small Tamiya. Otherwise, this thing is really nifty looking. It's got some really good weight to it and it's a nice support airsoft gun. It's got a rear sling point right here, but it's pretty Diff. I can't even move it. And then it's got a front sling point that's one solid piece. At least I know I can trust that. There is nowhere on here for any kind of optics or accessories for that matter. But that's all right, you got the classic look of an RPK. Now we gotta look up its value. So like I said, we spent 180 free shipping and the value of this LCT RPK is 499. I'd say that's a win. So they have it listed for 499, but I see it for 460 and other places I've seen it for less. So I'd say we got a little more than double our value when we spent almost 200 and got an Airsoft AEG worth about 400, not dollars. It doesn't say how many mystery boxes there were, but this was their 20th anniversary celebration, so happy anniversary. I'm pretty excited with the party favors. All right, what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Is this something you would rock? It does have full semi and safe, so you don't have to use it as a support. You can just use semi for some reason. This is more of an outdoor airsoft gun anyway, so is that your style? Let me know. And that is it. I'd like to thank all of you for sticking around through this unboxing. To prove that you've stuck around, she's gonna ask you a question from behind the camera, and this week's question is... If you could time travel, what year would you time travel to and why? Ooh, forward or backward? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I'd time travel to 2023. Tomorrow. <laughs> well, we're all time traveling to tomorrow, <laughs> just at a regular rate. Let us know in the comments which year would you time travel to and why. And this week's member of the week, that's a person that signed up to be a member and commented on the secret members only video, would be Sir Turd the Third. Not the first, not the second, the third. That must mean that Sir Turd one and two were taken and this person had to just choose the last one. Three. Woo. I wasn't done. You're done. I'm done. <laughs> if you want to be a member of the week, sign up to be a member. Go to the secret members only content. There's a secret video every week and just leave a comment. You could just say hi. That counts. You could be here with your name in green. All right, everyone. Don't forget to find us on all the other social media sites. Leave a like if I made you laugh because I'll do it again. And I hope you had a great day. Just in general. Mine was all right. Pretty okay. And until next time, here's a catalog for your reading pleasure. Whoop! It was like a reverse, like whoop.